Hello and welcome to ITNs. So I hope you are uh, going along nicely for this Python series up till now, right? Uh, and gradually we are picking up on the various topics, right? So now we are going to start with a new topic that is on functions. Right? Now um, imagine guys if you want to code a program and if you want to code, uh, for example, if you want to add up two numbers, right? Are you going to write the code again and again in that program? Or you want to define this that okay, uh, this is the code and this will be used for adding two numbers and then you want to just refer that particular code once in a time, uh, whenever you require, right? And then um, you can use it, execute it without writing a separate line of code for that. So that, that's how functions work on and we are going to look at some of them uh, starting from this session for the next 3-4 uh, sessions, right? Alright guys, uh, I'll see you in the session then. Thank you. Hello and welcome to ITN. So now in this session we are going to talk about uh, functions and how we are utilizing functions in uh, in Python. Right? So uh, before I start uh, guys uh, I would uh, actually seek your attention here. Uh, this is one of the core uh, topics about uh, Python and it's very uh, very simple. So uh, if you if, if you will be able to clear off this topic then you will be uh, getting more confidence in coding in python so i would actually um, requesting to have your um, attention out here right all right great so let's start so in python a function is referred to a group of related statements right that actually performs a specific task so functions help in breaking programs into smaller and modular chunks. As programs grow larger and larger, functions uh, value it more organized and uh, manageable, right? So it actually, uh, so when, when you're working on a complex program, so functions makes it more uh, organized and manageable, right? Because you don't have to worry about writing those uh, similar codes multiple times, it helps in um, reducing your code right all right so functions also helps in avoiding repetition of code thereby making codes more usable right all right so some common examples of functions which we have seen in the earlier sessions but we have not discussed about it is they are like print int and um, input right so we have seen that um, I mean those are all the examples of uh, function print int and input those are all the examples of functions okay so we know that I mean uh, when we have to um, okay so those are all inbuilt um, examples of uh, functions right so those is something which we have not defining it but those are like the inbuilt functions of Python right so like um, when when we have to get the output of, um, of a statement or we want to print any output um, we use the print functions right int is used to convert a value or a number into an integer uh, value same way um, uh, the input is used to make uh, uh, to take the input from the user right whatever the value user is going to key in the value will be utilized as an input to a variable okay great so those are all the examples of functions okay okay so let's look at some of the uh, one particular syntax uh, and then uh, we'll try to break it down the the what are the different uh, things that are part of this uh, functions right so for that let's first start with define and then function underscore underscore name right and then I key in the value as parameter okay and then bracket close and then enter and then uh, whatever statement you want to add here uh, variable uh, and then you want to 
extra modern field. Yeah. So this is just an example of a, a function. Now, what are the different things out here? I mean, we have actually uh, keyed in the syntax, right? So what are the different things out here? So this one, def, def, that actually uh, is a short for, um, uh, I mean, uh, for defining a function. So def, it marks the start of the function header, right? Then we provide a function name, okay? This one is the name of the function. I mean, you, you can give any name, whatever you want. It should be unique in your code, okay? You can't use uh, mul uh, multiple... Um, places with the same function name because if we do that then uh, we will uh, override the earlier value right so it's better to have a unique name for all the functions right then in this you will have your parameters right so uh, parameters uh, through which we are going to pass on the values to the functions right so those are optional um, you, it, it, it depends on the requirement of your code so if you want to add some uh, thing, it's not mandatory to, I mean, add uh, uh, any parameter out here, okay? Now this one, the colon one, uh, the colon, it marks the end of the body of a function, okay? Sorry, uh, the header of the function. It marks the end of the header of the function, okay? And after that, whatever follows is the body of the function, okay? Uh, so in this example, we have only added one uh, statement. But you can have add multiple lines of statement. Okay, so there's one more thing which I wanted to um, sh uh, I mean keep you update on is about the indentation. If you have noticed after the colon there is an indentation. Okay, so like we have seen earlier in the while we were discussing about if loop or else and elif loops. Okay, whatever followed after the colon was indented. Okay, that was to uh, define or that was to I mean inform the uh, the code uh, reader that whatever is um, uh, there after the colon will be indented is part of the body of the function or of that uh, particular line of uh, if it is if you're talking about loops then that will be the body of the loop but here in this scenario it is the body of a function all right so as you can see, uh, indentation is key for in Python programming, right? Right. So in function uh, body, you will have one or more statements. Uh, it, you can have uh, currently I have just added only one statement, right? Now as a side note, at the end you could also have uh, a written statement to return a value uh, f from the function to a particular variable, whatever you want to. I mean key uh, output of uh, that uh, uh, value of that function right now uh, let's start to with the uh, particular uh, code right okay so let's uh, this was the syntax which we actually worked on now let's look at the uh, practical code so I'll start with def greet okay and um, uh, name okay and then I colon and then enter and then print okay um, hello okay and uh, sorry okay and name Okay, so this is part of your concatenation. Uh, we're getting uh, things. Con I mean, added. I'll explain you in a bit. Then and keep l learning. Okay, and we'll close this statement. Right now, uh, what we've done out here we have actually defined a function uh, function name is greet and then it is going to uh, take a parameter of name now out here name is actually a parameter okay um, and then uh, print hello plus name that is um, the concatenation we whatever value we are going to get uh, that will be added out here and then keep watching and keep learning okay? now let's look at the output of it okay 
Great. So for that, what we are going to do is uh, we're going to put as greet pro it and then enter. All right. Actually, I forgot to add the quotes there, so it's going to be greet and then. Um, it and now I hit enter so it comes as um, hello it uh, keep watching and keep learning so uh, what I could have done out here is I could have actually uh, given a space uh, right so anyways I mean uh, I wanted to give you a feeling about uh, uh, this one uh, so um, yeah I mean we could have uh, added a space out here or we could have added a dot and then a space out there. So, anyways, uh, all right. So, uh, great. So, what we have added out here? I mean, this one. So, as, as we saw out here, it is it, this was named as parameter, right? But when you are giving a value, okay, then it is it actually is a um, is a uh, is an argument that we are passing it to the function okay now uh, here we have actually defined a function now for for some reason you might want to um, delete this function right or you want to um, get rid of this function so how are you going to do that right so let's let's look at that so for that uh, let me type in del and then greet okay and then I hit enter okay so what this what you have done is you have uh, with this what you have done is you have deleted create function okay so uh, now if if I run the same command again which I did out here greet uh, pro it and I hit enter it would say uh, name it would give me name error name grid is not defined right right so <clears throat> now um, let's look at uh, a function that we can use to add two numbers right so yeah we are getting a bit uh, into programming with the function so let's start with the uh, adding two numbers let's uh, use one more program to add two numbers so uh, I'll put as uh, num1 comma num2 and then I close this bracket and what I need to do out here quotes uh, colon right correct so sum is equals to num1 plus num2 right and then we have to key in return Okay, I'll, I'm getting a bit lazy, guys. Uh, anyways, chalo. Okay, fine. Um, I'll key in return and then sum. Yeah. Remember, guys, uh, when I spoke about return out here, um, that was to provide the output of it. So let's uh, let's uh, run this code and see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we are done here, and now what we need to do is like out here we actually use the function uh, the name of the function and give the value and we got the output uh, with the value right same way so here the name of the function is add isn't it so we're going to put add and then we are going to give two numbers say 9 comma 10 and then hit end uh, and then i hit enter all right guys so um we have seen how we can actually uh, in this session we have seen that how we can define a function right great let's uh, summarize the session so uh, we have seen that function is the block of code that can be reused right whenever we want to when we want to perform uh, certain tasks in an application that we may call the function which has been created uh, for that specific task right so in absence of function, uh, we've seen that we will have to repeat the code of uh, of, of that uh, particular requirement 
at every place whenever that specific usability is required okay so to all to avoid all these things uh, and to make the code very simpler we are actually adding up our, our functions right all right guys uh, I think we are done with this session and we are going to look uh, at some more examples about functions in the coming sessions right so till then um, please uh, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified all right guys uh, until next time keep watching and keep learning thank you